Hey guys, what's go what's going on? <laughs> well, I've been having headaches. Doctor says it may be because of sinuses, but I don't know. Usually when I have sinuses, you know, sometimes I get runny nose and watery eyes, but it never makes me drowsy. You know, it never makes me drowsy, and uh, I don't know, different strokes for different folks, but I don't know, uh, does your sinuses ever make you drowsy, Shelly? No. But, you know, I know I used to get drowsy a lot when I was doing peels and heroin and things like that. I used to get really drowsy. Yeah. But, uh. And nod off, even nod off on camera sometimes. <laughs> but you know, it's, I don't know. I, but I don't know. You know, allergies and heroin is, uh, you know, the the addiction part is almost similar because you know it both leaves you with runny nose if you snort, and you know, uh, uh, can leave you with the sniffles, and it can also. You know, it's just, it's, you know, it's just different similarities, you know, that you can assume someone <laughs> or you can blame on your allergies, you know, for, for certain addictions and things like that, I, you know, but because, you know, I used to do it when I was on drugs heavy, but, you know, uh, I know this much. If you have a lot of friends that are uh, that are drug addicts, what's that mean, Shelly? You're one. Birds of a feather flock together. Birds of a feather flock together. So, if you have a lot of friends that are drug addicts, there's a 99% chance that you're in that group right along with me. Not saying any names, because you know I don't want to point anybody out, because this video is not intended to point anybody out. It's just intended to shoot reality towards people. Because you know that's what we do as former drug addicts. You know, we point out the bullshit that people put out, you know, when they say that they're not drug addicts or something like that. And if anything, anybody knows anything about drug addicts, it's me. Because either if you have friends that are drug addicts, you used to be one or you are one. People who just don't go from these uh, goody two shoes neighborhoods or goody two shoes cultures and be like hey that guy's buying drugs over there I'm going I'm to be his friend <laughs> they just don't do that or hey your sister's a drug addict I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and shoot pool with her I'm not going to do drugs though it just doesn't happen anyway Drugs can fool a lot of people, especially the person that is doing them. It puts people in denial. It makes people lie. It also makes you target other people because of your mishaps, your addictions. And so does childhood trauma. It does too. I have PTSD. I was never beaten as a child. I was never uh, molested as a child. I was never sexually molested as a child. But I was. Yeah, my fiance was. But you know what? You can either help the people 
can either help people that were molested or you can help bully the people. It's the only, it's the only, it's the only way. It's the only two ways it can be. You have to choose that for yourselves. Peace.